Hey everyone, it's Dr. D, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use classroomscreen.com during your synchronous meetings to play a math game with your students. Doesn't that sound like fun? We did that the other day, too. So Kat's with me. She's going to help me out. But when you're setting up, you want to go to classroomscreen.com. And if you have a game board for your kids that you want to share, maybe you're having them play a game with their parents at home, you'll want to model that. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this background button at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to upload an image of the game board. So I click on background. Then I find this arrow button here, which is going to allow me to upload the Race to 120 game board that I've already taken a screenshot of. Here it is. So it's going to look like this, which is like, whoa, a little overwhelming. You just need to find this little tool on the right-hand side that's going to shrink it all down to size. So it's like a compressed tool. See that? Now we have our game board. Doesn't that look phenomenal? What's awesome about this particular tool is I can do lots of things. So if I want to maybe play like we played the other day, I had a little text board on it. So when the kids were rolling, I got to write down their equations. There's also another tool. You can actually have some virtual dice on here. So I'm going to click on the virtual dice. And at first, it's, it's for a name. But if I just want to do the dice for the kids, then we just click here on this dice um, icon. And in our game, we actually had two dice because it's second grade. Rolling it. So everybody's going to start at one on the game. Um, while I'm playing a game, I can take a moment to write down the student's addition or subtraction facts, depending on which icon they land on. And I encourage the students to also um, write down their facts. Because remember, this is about you know, getting the kids to learn. And, you know, I always say when we start our classes, okay, get your journals out and write down what we're doing. So whether it's math or phonics. So Kat, you want to show them how to play race 120? Can roll the dice? She's going to roll the dice. Okay. So you got what? Six. Okay. So what's our addition sentence going to be? Um, four plus two equals six. Very good. So make sure you write that down in your journals. Four plus two equals six. So the way that we play this is that all of our different friends got to take a turn, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. And then after once they're at six, they get to roll again, don't they? Uh, after the other kids turn. After the other kids turn. And it was really fun because all the kids were adding on and they were helping each other out with their addition sentences. So Kat, you were at six. Now how many more are you going to add on? Um, I'm on seven. Right, so remember you were at six, and now it's six I know plus seven equals 13. Wonderful. And the nice thing about this particular game board is I have it here so the kids can use it as a scaffold. Uh, Want to do one more? Yeah. Okay, hit the dice. Now what do we have? 10. So you're at what number? Um, 13 plus 10 equals. One, um, 20, one, um, equals 23. Good job. How did you get to 23 so fast? I don't know. You looked at the number chart? Yeah, but, but it's covered. It's covered by a pot of gold. So that means you've got a pot of gold. You have to add 10. Equals 33. Excellent. So 23 plus 10. Equals 33. Very good. So this is a really fun game that once you've modeled with your students how to play, they can play it with their families, and they can practice their addition facts. But it's really important, whatever you're doing in the class or with your kids, that they have an example to look at. So thanks so much for watching our video. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.